You've got two areas of convergence. You've got the seven inch uh, tablet and the four inch smartphone that are starting to ram, ram together on the one end. And then we've got the, the 13.3 notebook and the 11.6 tablet starting to ram together at the other end. And so we're gonna see a lot of that drama uh, at CES between the form factors. Uh, much more, I think, on the smaller side next year, but this year it's going to be on tablets and notebooks. A lot of folks arguing that you can get one device that can do both things. Last year was really on the original tablets like Apple's original iPad, but Apple's introduction of the iPad mini f pretty much um, justified the fact that 7-inch was legit, and now consumers are now starting to focus on that. The convertible uh, question, uh, I think, begs the question about the extent to which tablets will remain a distinct or discreetly identifiable category over time, or whether or not they're just a logical evolution of, of the PC. So, you know, I think this experimentation, and some of it's good and some of it's less good, uh, that we see right now is a very, very logical thing. I certainly expect to see the halls of CES full of additional experiments. The cool new thing this year is kind of surface for you. It's these 18 to 12, 27 inch portable all-in-ones that you can put down flat and you can play surface games from air hockey to board games to pool to whatever. And you've got this digital, digital format thing. And of course, my favorite service game was kind of this strategy game where aliens attacked and you move stuff around and you did it in teams or actually against each other. And it was a ball and finally I'm gonna to get to do that and it'll be affordable, no longer a $7,000 to $14,000 solution. We're talking between 700 bucks and 1800 bucks, so definitely affordable. And that's these haven't been in market and affordable before this year.